This is what I got in Michigan. Everywhere in Michigan, you're going to see this, except for in the UP. I sell this. OK, this is like a texture. Yes. It will look like yes. bacon. Yes. And this, awesome. is what, this is what you'll see all over Ohio and all over, all over Michigan. So what's the difference in price these two? 20, 22%. 22%. Yeah, 22 percent. Goes up there. Yeah. So, but if you if you do this in the UP, all the women are going to go into that basement and they're going to see this and they're going to say, "Honey, I want that." But you know, your your initial investment in these is a lot more. But the uh, you get about two thousand fours on one of these, and on your advance, you know, you might be two hundred. And you're cutting down 10x. What's that? 10x. 10 times more use on this. Yes, but it's also like buying a house. It's expensive, like buying a house, because it's it's a lot of money. But if you buy in, say you buy in right now and buy a little bit of forms, you're buying in at this level, right? And by the time you get 2,000 uses, that might be 35 years. But then the scrap value of the aluminum, the scrap value, it might be, you know, 35% of what you pay for them. And then you just cash them in and get your money back after 35 years. Like a retirement package. Aluminum there. In Michigan, everywhere. Well, I am in the UP, so most of the contractors are using that bonds too. Well, in the UP, there's not as many, but there are some. And I know who they are. I started two of them. So there's, there are aluminum forms up there. Marquette? There's one in Marquette that works with the ReadyMix plant there. And the man, there was a dentist that was an Indian. He started it back in the old days. He has a dual, dual nationality, so he was Canadian-American. And he started doing basements with aluminum there. Sure. And then uh, Mike, uh, I can't even think of his last name, but he's in the UP as well. I sold him aluminum as well. Okay. But, you know, your, your initial investment in these is a lot more. But the, uh, you get about 2,000 fours on one of these. And on your advance, you know, you might be 200. And you're cutting them down. 10x. What's that? 10x. 10 times more use on these. Yes. But it's also like buying a house. It's expensive like buying a house because it's, it's a lot of money. But if you buy in, say you buy in right now and buy a little bit of forms. You're buying in at this level, right? And by the time you get 2,000 uses, that might be 35 years. But then the scrap value of the aluminum, the scrap value, it might be, you know, 35% of what you pay for them. And then you just cash them in and get your money back after 35 years, like a retirement package. Okay. Because they hold their value as far as the scrap. But the use of the forms, there's really no difference. You know, if you if you cover your wall footing to footing and you blank at the top of the wall, you can pour down to negative 11. Negative 11. You're gonna have to use 2% calcium. You probably might, you might use high early. I don't know how you do your concrete in the middle of the winter when it's that cold. Do you pour year round or you do you stop? I stop in November. You do stop? Yep. But what if you could keep going? That's a plus. Okay, so you can with advance too, but you gotta take plastic yep. from footing to footing. It's gotta cover the whole thing. All the way around. All the way around. And then what you wanna do is blank at the top of the wall anyways. Are you guys set up your own blankets? No. But I, I just help with setting the panels and doing basement walls. I, that's my you know, I did I did a lot of commercial work. So I, over the years, I did fridges, uh, power plants. So I can do any kind of construction. Anyway. And I've used Advance, Simon Steel Five, Four Seasons. I've used every kind of panel that there is, but I do cover the UP of Michigan. That's part of my area. So what's the basic plan then? You're gonna give me the four worst plans that you've ever done that you wanna do with aluminum. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna design a set that will do those four plants. You can decide I want to do them in two pours. You can tell me I want to do them in one pour. You're in charge. Whatever. What's, you... what's your advice on these forms? If I am, let's say it's like a regular square, say like a 30 by 
You're going to be you're gonna, with every with, with all the best we got is twenty four dollars a square foot. Twenty four dollars a square foot. The best system we got. Okay. On the lower side, it's about twenty. The best system would have all these attached pins, so you don't ever drop anything. Nothing's loose. Everything's on the forms. How Follow about, me. How about bracing? Uh, we would have wall braces too. It's just your standard. You can put them on with pins and wedges. You see? You it's just, just your flat, your flat brace. Same as I don't know what you're doing for advanced. Probably. It's two by fours. Um, right. Yeah. Um, That's the same thing we use. It's just got a flat part here, and it's got an angled part that you put a stake through. When do you feel like, let's say, an eight-foot-tall basement, do you do a two poles? Like, you fill it up, like, to a tier? No, you can fill it all the way up. All the way up. All the way to the top. No, no problem. Never an issue. A lot of everybody goes with nine now. Nine feet, yeah. Nine. Is that? This is nine. Yeah. This panel is nine feet. It weighs 90 pounds. Light. 90 pounds. It's three feet wide. Okay? So you're going to use one third less ties. So you're going to use one third less forever. But ties are so freaking cheap, though. What? The ties are so cheap, you know? No, they're not. No, I, in my mind, they are. No, but one third less forever. I mean, do that for 35 years and calculate how much that is. Oh, yeah. That's a lot I mean, of money. Uh, for 35 years. years. Figure it out, because it's worth a lot. So, But when you buy these, you're going to buy them, and you you got to be able to move them around. You know? So what's your take on pouring concrete walls nowadays with the, the ICF system? It's OK. I don't, I, don't, I don't slam it. Don't slam it? I don't slam it, but how much does the, you know, time? I can, I can I can strip set and pour every day with this if I have enough bodies, and I have to have a good way to move it. I can set it up, I can pour it, I can strip it, set it up, and pour it in one day with a footing to go to. Okay. Strip set pour, strip set pour, strip. You're going to be more like in the UP. You're going to be like, okay, I want to build the best name for quality, so that everybody that sees my work wants to use me, always. And the first thing they're going to think about is calling me, right? This is what I got in Michigan. <laughs> Everywhere in Michigan, you're going to see this, except for in the UP. I sell this. Okay, this is like a texture. Yes. It will look like yes. Big. Yes. And this awesome. is what this is what you'll see all over Ohio, and all over all over Michigan. So what's the difference in price? This to 20, texture. Twenty-two percent. Twenty-two percent. Yeah, twenty-two percent. Goes up there. Eh? Yeah. So. But if you if you do this in the UP, all the women are gonna go into that basement and they're gonna see this and they're gonna say, honey, I want that. Then they're Give gonna Give me say, that, baby. Let me see what you did. Rodrigo. Yeah, they're gonna say, hey, call Rodrigo. That's gonna be the name of your company. Call Rodrigo. Well, I'm actually Peninsula Concrete. Well, then that's too uh, late. But okay, but on your business card, you can say, call Rodrigo and have your phone number. That, that's kind of neat, eh? Uh, why not? Yeah. And so, but you're going to be building a name for yourself, right? That's yes, what you're doing. That's in the process. Yes, you're building a name for yourself. But every job you get with brick, they're all going to talk about it. They're all going to talk about the brick. So, we insulate the outside of the wall. Put insulation on the outside, what run it up, and leave this exposed on the inside. I don't know if code allows you to do that or not. Can you see the inside of your concrete in the basement in, in the UP, or does it have to be covered up? I think it can be covered up because I see some guys, you know, to get that art factor, you know. But does it have to be covered up? I don't think it has to. So you can put the foam on the outside, yeah. leave this exposed on the inside, so everybody can see it, because that's what you want. Yeah. It turned off. But that's, that's what you want. You want everybody to see that. Yes. Now, you can do this, too. This, this is a beautiful wall, too. Yes, sir. It is. Catch my eye right away. OK, it so. Turning and burning. Yeah. So are there still forms up there in Marquette, or are they gone? I think uh, what I see, for the most part, is advanced all over the place. OK, there was one set of aluminum. I haven't seen it. That a man named Dennis bought a long time ago, and he worked with uh, the ReadyMix company. Thanks. 
Uh, like uh, the Escanaba one? Might have been an Escanaba one. Okay. It was aluminum though. Okay. Yeah. And so there are two sets of aluminum in the UP. That's all I know of. All right. So I'll just say, send you an email with the dimensions, how, roughly how many linear feet I'm going to need. And well, then you throw me a price on Well, there's also a way that we can create a, a method. I think we can create a way to attach your advanced forms to the aluminum. Okay. So you don't have to have them all right away. By little by little. You can do it however you want. But you're, what you would do is you're going to take some prints and send me some files. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to make a set of forms that will do that. Yeah, not not a lot. Just would, would you guys be interested in the market of printing forms? No, no, no. That's not no. These are these are. You're gonna have to find a way to move these. Yep. And over time, you're gonna buy a boom truck. Over time, you're gonna have a lot of equipment. You gotta move these around. How do you move your forms now? Trailer. Okay. It's gonna be a little bigger than that. You're gonna want to have something to move them with. You might have to buy an old boom truck. This might be a process. I do like a min mini excavator and put them on top of. You the can do. Up. You can do that. You got to be careful. Use a use a, a cinch, cinch strap that'll stretch. Yeah. So when you move them, it doesn't jerk the panels around. Normally these panels fit in baskets, and they're standing up. So you take a crane, and you set them into your basement hole, and they're standing up. Now you're just taking them off the basket and they're already standing up and you walk over to the wall and set it that way you're not lifting it would you be able to make a shallow like a shallow wall like four feet wall with these nine footers or be like two no two, no too much but talking? Many, many of the guys that i work with yes, many yes, sure. many of the guys that i work with we start with a four foot set okay. and you're you, gonna start with it. yeah start with something okay. that way you can start you know and then we go from there if i buy like four feeders then you put another four feet on top and you can do it. you can you can it does work yes but phrasing but eventually you will get nine it's just not cost effective i got you you know so what's your name again i'm doug oh doug a specialist for concrete in michigan i, I yeah i do concrete forming I do Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, Illinois, West Virginia, Pennsylvania. Don't at all. No clerk I, Yeah, I do all that area. All right, my man. And I did residential. That's what I've done, right? But I also took some time. I took some time and I did some commercial work. All right. Okay, so I did commercial for about four years. All right, uh, no, thanks for joining me. Yes, um, I, I can help you with anything. You just send me, ask the questions, we'll talk, we'll would, get to know each other. Would you mind if I post this video on YouTube? Uh, I don't care. Oh, what does that matter? Would you more eyes, you know, maybe more so? Well, I don't I wouldn't see it on YouTube, but... Some people would? Yeah, it's okay. You can do that. Awesome. You can post it, I don't care. All right, God bless you. Hey, Take good care talking to you. Yes. Bye.